Hello and welcome to our Year with the Ears, our daily vlog where we relive our year living in the Walt Disney World Resorts in 2019. Today is day 169. We got up this morning and headed up to the club level lounge to grab a few pastries and take them with us because we've got to get over to Grand Floridian. This morning we are going to be speaking to another group who happens to be here. They asked us to come and speak for a few minutes to all the employees. It's actually a car dealership from Georgia that a friend of ours from college is the son of the owner and this connection happened somehow and they asked <laughs> us to come and talk to all of their employees about just the business side of Disney and what we've learned as far as customer service goes and things like that just from living here in the Disney bubble. So since we don't have a car, we hopped on the boat from Wilderness Lodge over to the Contemporary and then from there got on a monorail over to Grand Floridian and eventually got over there to the convention center and went in and spoke with them for about an hour just kind of telling some stories and answering some questions and that kind of thing before we wrapped everything up. When we were done, we walked through the lobby of the Grand Floridian. We're gonna take the same journey, but in reverse. And they had some live music there in the lobby of the Grand Floridian. And it is so beautiful when they have music in here. We enjoyed just sitting here and listening to her singing for a little while because it is just a special thing that they do have live music here at Grand Floridian. And it's very cool and we aren't here very often so mm -hmm. we wanted to just sit there and enjoy it. We then headed up to the monorail and took the monorail over to Contemporary and then got off the monorail, got on the boat and took the boat over to Wilderness Lodge. Thankfully we made it. It was a beautiful day so far today and mm -hmm. so it was a nice ride and we have nowhere we have to be so it's just really enjoyable to take Disney transportation. We did make it back in time for lunch so of course we had those pinwheels, they had fruit and vegetables so we just snacked and got settled in here with the beautiful view at the club level lounge and got some work done because we do have some work to do and we know we have some stuff going on later today so we wanted to spend a few hours working while we have the time. Especially while we have unlimited snacks <laughs> and productivity juice from the Nespresso machine this is the perfect place to work. We had our table there in the lounge and mm -hmm. all the concierge knew and everybody that worked in the lounge stocking the food, they knew which table was ours because if we were up there in the lounge, we were at that one specific mm -hmm. table plugged in with our laptops and just working and talking to people as they came by. It was a lot of fun. It's a great environment to work yes. in. I don't know why that one is my favorite, but for whatever reason, I felt like I was the most productive in that one spot. We worked until dinner time, and of course we were very excited about dinner because they do have lighter snacks here in the afternoon. So dinner, we always enjoy filling up. They had their normal salads, cheeses, all those things. And of course, a favorite of Robert's was back tonight, the brisket. And if I'm being completely honest, I think the brisket up here is better than the brisket down at Whispering Canyon. Even though it's made in the same smokehouse, they season it differently and they put a different sauce on it downstairs. I actually prefer it up here because they have a different barbecue sauce with it. I think it's phenomenal. After we finished eating, we checked out a couple games from the concierge there in the lounge, and we were gonna take them down to one of the outside tables that's mm -hmm. over there by the Roaring Fork, kind of the outside seating area. We had some cast member friends that were coming over after work. They were gonna hang out and play some games with us. And then the typical Disney afternoon thunderstorms happen, but it's later than normal, mm -hmm. which means it's not gonna be just a 20 minute shower. It was just like an hour and a half of downpouring rain. So not really gonna be able to go outside and play the games. And there's not really room in our room that we have to set yeah. up and play board games. So we asked if our friends could come in and not go to the lounge and like eat food or anything like that, but just sit at one of the tables right there at the edge of the lounge area and play board games with us. And they graciously allowed them to. So we sat there and played 
Disney Vacation Club <laughs> Clue, which is very much like regular Clue, except nobody actually died. You're not solving a murder in this because it's a <laughs> Disney game. Although if they had dead parents, that would be a pretty normal thing at this point <laughs> for a Disney movie. True. But it's not a Disney movie. It's Disney Vacation Club, which is just really cool because all the locations are actual DVC locations and all the little pieces are really awesome. So this was a lot of fun to play. It is a little different. The rules are a little different as well. And we ended up playing this like three different times mm -hmm. because we had so much fun with it. And this is one of those Disney Vacation Club special games that we don't have. We have a couple yep. of them, but we don't have this one. So I'm keeping an eye out for that one on <laughs> eBay because it was a really fun game to play. After our friends left, it was time for desserts and it was also sunset. The rain had just started moving away from us here at Wilderness Lodge, but you could still see the rain. It was really cool to see that as the sun was setting. Another beautiful sunset here. I know we talk about it like every <laughs> single day, but seriously, the sunsets are just gorgeous. And then we went over and grabbed some desserts and I was so surprised they had the strawberry peach cobbler again. This is the second night in a row. They never repeat the same thing two nights in a row, but for whatever reason, something happened with some supplies or something in the kitchen and they wound up doing it again. And I was so excited to see my favorite cobbler again. They also had some buttermilk panna cotta, which is the first time we've seen that. It was pretty good too, but honestly, I just wanted like three bowls of the cobbler because it's <laughs> so good. We stayed up in the lounge just talking to everyone up there because we really enjoy seeing all of our cast member friends up there. It's so much fun every time we're back. So we just asked about their lives, how things are going. We chatted with them for a bit, watched Happily Ever After, and then made our way back to our room. And that was the end of our day today. So we'll see you tomorrow for our year with the ears.